Okay, let's start with yesterday's trades and current positions. I'm just gonna take them uh, in some kind of an order. Let's see, Ku, I got stopped out of this one. The chart still looks good, and I'm willing to get back in if it can break out of this 50 day with some volume. PTLA, new swing position. I've been talking about this one for a few days now. I had a really tight, tight flag chart. So the reason, the fundamental reason uh, why this thing broke out today is because they, they failed their phase three, but there were some benefits uh, observed in the study that weren't in the study protocol. And today the pharma executives had a meeting with Trump. And uh, as you know, Trump has been bashing the biotech sector for a while now. Uh, and uh, today's comments, or sorry, yesterday's comments were fairly positive for his sector. But what he basically said is that there shouldn't be as much trial data needed for approval and uh, this gives this stock a little bit of a hope uh, maybe they'll they have a chance of getting approved or an easier chance of getting approved even though the study didn't necessarily meet their endpoints so as soon as the trump comments came out you know it, it, it broke out of this 26 area and I, I actually saw it here at 26 but i didn't buy it i don't know why i hesitated then i looked back 10 minutes later the stock was in the low mid 27s so i just decided to wait for some kind of a dip ideal entry would have obviously been here in the low 26s but i got in 26.50 on the dip and i'm very happy it did dip to that far down because it stopped at 2644. I would have been pissed if it had stopped at 2654. Anyways, uh, hopefully this thing has followed through. Can go to th low 30s or something. At some decent volume, very good looking chart. Perfect breakout chart. And it has a fundamental catalyst. Next one is Kala. I bought this one. Uh, I think I talked about this one in the last video. Basically, uh, team dot we uh, insight. Yeah, I talked about this one. Uh, anyways, I bought it uh, on the dip intraday. Actually, bought it on the consolidation here. I bought it 655. It looked like it had bottomed. You know, I. I I was going to use the 631 as my stop. Risk reward was good. You know, either I risk like 20 cents for a potential multi multi dollar rally or well, you know, you know, 30 cent risk. It was very good risk reward. I liked it. So I took a swing position. I'm willing to hold this one for weeks, even months. EMES I've had for a while. CNX got stopped out for a small profit. My initial entry was here, 1570 or 1560 or something like that. So I got stopped out, put in a strong candle. Now it's just consolidating. If it goes sideways for a few more days, this thing could be a long setup. Or maybe not a few more days, but another maybe five, 10 days would be awesome. So this 20 day can catch up. So I'm not really short biased on it right now. It had all the all the opportunities to break down to 14, sub 14, but it's just holding up very well. Had a strong catalyst, can very easily have another leg up to 17, 18. <coughs> Fannie Mae still holding it. Ice HR still holding it. Both were slightly down today. But I have a some decent profits on both of them. Tesla got stopped out. I was up five or six dollars on it. Down here, I ended up taking a dollar 
profit on it here, two low 255s. Went a little bit higher and then it faded back. So, uh, well, it is what it is. So those were my swing trades. Dries, I've been on this one for a week now. As you know, I've been laying the trade out. I bought it here. I, I, as you know, I held uh, about 10,000 overnight. <coughs> I bought it near the open. I got stopped out, lost like three grand. Then I got back in here, the 360s, and it went just straight up. I scaled out. I added some here at 490, straight up. I scaled out. Then it started breaking down. I scaled out a little bit more on these pops on the way down. Uh, I actually bought some here at 470, scaled on the way up, and I sold my last shares here near the close, because it looked like it was going to close weak, and I was afraid of a gap down, so I sold everything. And uh, today I'm looking for the same thing, and some kind of opening range highs, or a big dip, if this thing can wash out to... Uh, mid low force out of the gate I'm willing to buy that dip for a potential 50 cent dollar bounce so that was a very good I was actually up almost 40,000 on it ESCS was a little bit annoying because I didn't obey my stop I bought it on the dip out of the gate because I was thinking you know if this thing picks up to 205 it can go to I don't know 253 bucks but Oh, uh, when it took, take, took out these intraday lows, I, I did stop out of some, and then I got a bit sloppy on the rest, ended up selling the rest somewhere near the close. So, it was a small loss, but could have been even smaller. AECS, I saw someone who's usually very bearish on stuff, being, you know, laying out the bull thesis on it. I, I was, so I was like, okay, good, risk reward is good, you know, risk 10 cents to potentially make, well, much more than that. And I was actually up like 25 cents on this position at one point. Uh, I didn't take any off. I was up a couple of grand. I have small position. And then uh, late day, it just broke down on this range. I just sold it, took a tiny loss on it. But I was up a couple of grand, so maybe I should have sold some. UVXY took a $1,700 loss on it. I was actually up about 2000 on it at one point. I bought it here at the opening range highs, went higher, and then it just shopped around the rest of the day before fading, before they close. And it's the same thing that happened the day before when it just shopped around and it faded into the close because the market, uh, well, because the market was strong into the close, like you see here and here. And now the market is scapping up. I'm I'm still I'm gonna keep this UBXY on watch because once the market has a little bit of a pullback, say five ten percent, it may be. A long time until that happens but this thing can make big moves last time before the Trump uh, before the election UVXY had a big move like 40 percent and the market itself didn't really fade that much the market faded only two two and a half percent so I've had some really big trades on UVXY before on the long side and also on the short side so this thing can very easily make 30 40 50 percent moves uh, every 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 couple of months, every three four months. So it's it's always good to have this on watch, especially after prolonged periods of low volatility like we had now. You know we've we've had very low volatility for two three months now. So this is something I will keep tracking. TPL, I'm, I don't really know why I traded it. I had an alert set. But I misjudged it. I thought it was breaking out of this range here, but actually it wasn't. It was at 28 cents. I bought some on the dip. I didn't want to chase it at 29 because it was a big move. I saw some volume. 
But again, I thought it was breaking out of this range, but in reality it wasn't. I was a little bit sloppy looking at a chart. And then I got stopped out. Uh, I had a big trade on it here. It went up like 70% in a, a couple of weeks. So these things can, these bottom oil names, these things can really go. REXX is another one. I had a big trade. I made like 60, 70% on it. VNR just last week went up 30% from my entry. <clears throat> R-log, <clears throat> this dries, the strength in dries, it woke up some of the shippers like DCIX was the main one. I was thinking, you know, our log, if it can break this high high 90s with volume, it could go. Uh, I bought a tiny, tiny position with the tension to add, but no follow through, so I just sold it, tiny, tiny loss. Shagex was the most annoying trade of yesterday. I was actually up 3,000 on it until it crapped into the close. It uh, had some collaboration with a bigger pharmaceutical company, got a tiny bit up front, some milestones, uh, re really not big dollar amounts, but this is a tiny company, 7 million market cap, which is ridiculously small. I bought it here at 88 cents, 89 cents, when I saw volume coming in before the close, and it had been consolidating all day, traded several times its floats. So I'm like, okay, good risk reward. Went up 22%, nice little move. I sold tiny, tiny, I sold like 10% of my position. I thought this had a legitimate chance going to, I don't know, 150 or something, but then it crapped crapped out and uh, I took <laughs> I ended up taking a small loss on it. This one was ah, really annoying, really, really annoying. Pissed me off, you know, <laughs> just, it looks so bad when there's so many red trades. Most of these are just tiny, tiny losses. Like these, these four are like non-events non really. This one, ah, I got sloppy on that one. And UVXY, this is what it is. And well, try to save the day. Even though I, I am up on 2,000 on Realize and Kala and almost 1,400 on PTLA. So it looks so mentally, uh, what's the word for it? I don't remember the word, but ah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Did I forget something? Nope. Let's look at my short watch list. Dry is obviously still a main watch for today. Maybe, maybe another five-figure opportunity. Um, I really hope this thing goes up another day. I would love to see this thing in the sixes or sevens or something. And then I would be very interested in, uh, in it on the short side because one of these days it's going to go down 30, 50% in a matter of days. <sighs> CNX, I don't know. Ah. Let's see. If it builds some little bit of a range here, could be something like Veil, where it builds a range and breaks up below this range and then has some follow through, even though it hasn't really had much follow through yet. You know, could, could be something like that. Or if it breaks to the upside, just stalking it. Tesla, ah, just stalking it. Really nothing here. Long watch list, as you already know, I'm basically looking for breakouts on these stocks. APRI was very close, triggering, had some volume. I don't know, maybe it was some chat room pumping it or whatever. But it is building a range here. ORX looks so good, looks so good. Volume has totally dried up, it's very tight range here. It's just, when it goes, I think it's gonna make a pretty decent move. Ah, it doesn't look that great. Ah, this one already went up a little bit. Doesn't look as good as before. Pola just bottoming here. I, I think they have earnings soon. Very, very uh, strong earnings on this one. Fast, very fast growing. Uh, Baidu is a new one, doesn't look good actually 
match is stalking it. You know, if they get the Trump wall contract, or probably they will, uh, well, obviously they will get the whole contract, but even if they get like 1% of it, this thing is gonna go to 20. This one is setting up really nice. I have to check earning states uh, on most of these. Uh, I usually check the earning state just before I get just before I buy it, buy the stocks. Netflix, it's starting to shape up. Again, I think this could be a scenario where you can risk four bucks to make, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 bucks. UVXY gapping down pretty big. I'll just keep it on my radar. REXX found some support on this 20-day moving average. Is moving average. Uh, a couple of more days of sideways would be nice, and then maybe another leg up. I don't know. Had some pretty pretty big volume here. It traded its whole float on these two days, or pretty much. I say char. A couple of more dice, uh, days of sideways, and I'll be I'll double up on this position. VNR found some support. Uh, need more sideways. It's maybe maybe in a few days. Uh, that this one I'm just watching it. it maybe for a potential short or or a long. I don't know yet. We'll see how. Th it's probably it's dependent on dries. If dries keeps uh, going, this one will probably have another leg up. This one took out the long long range here but there was almost no volume mankind kind of started perking off this bottom information with volume but uh, I don't know maybe I'll buy some I think they have uh, earnings or some kind of conference call soon I have to check it out this one had some news Twilio had an analyst upgrade. Now I'm this one is, you know, for the past month it's been putting in higher lows and it has a nice little range of the bottom. Former runner, recent IPO. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably buy this thing. Opening range highs, risk like I don't know, say fifty cents or something. Because if it goes, it's gonna go up five bucks very easily. This one had a secondary, I'm just tracking it for some other reasons. And these ones, um, yeah, unrelated. And that's it for now.